Good morning, you three. Um, I hope you had a lovely weekend and managed to get a little bit of a break from home learning um, and are ready to go after having a couple of days off. Um, as always, I'm going to share my slides with you so you can see what I can see. As I'm doing that, have a little think about what we'll be looking at on Friday's lesson for SPAG. We were looking at a certain um, type of word and it kind of told us about something. It describes something else. I wonder if you can remember what it is. So I'm going to have a go oh, at sharing my slides. And I'm actually just going to go back to Friday's slides just so we can recap what it was we were doing on Friday. So on Friday, we were identifying adverbs. Now, adverbs describe the verb and they often describe how something is done. So well done if you said that. Um, and we had lots of different sentences where we were spotting the adverb. So she often goes to the shop. So that goes on to the how often something's done. The dog barked loudly. Well, how did it bark? It barked loudly. They played happily together. How did they play? They played happily. The car is parked inside the garage. So where is the car parked? It's parked inside. And I almost reached my target. So that would go under the how much. Um, right, so today we're not going to be focusing on all adverbs, we're going to be looking at adverbs that express time. So as always, I've got some adverbs that are written down here. So I've got afterwards, again, before, beforehand, early, lately, never, now, often, punctually, recently, soon, then, today, tomorrow and yesterday. So all of these adverbs of time provide more information about when a verb takes place. Adverbs of time are usually positioned at the start of a sentence. Using it at the start shows it must be really important. Um, so if we're thinking about our English toolkit and we're thinking about our opening for our story openers, we might have early one morning. So early is our adverb, early one morning, okay? Um, so now jump in the pool. It shows it's important, okay? I wonder, could you pick five? I'm gonna go with five. Five, um, five, sorry, five adverbs here. Could you put them in a sentence? And I wonder, if you could put it at the beginning of the sentence or you could change it around so sometimes it's at the beginning sometimes it is at the end so that is your challenge today and i'm just going to change this to so pick five focus words and write them in a sentence challenge yourself to write them at beginning which words you choose remember these are adverbs to express time okay have a lovely day and i will speak to you all soon bye